Hi, I'm Derek Killam with Intune Music and Sound. Good to see you. Uh, this is a series of videos that we like to call Do It Yourself DIY. And uh, one of the things we like to make sure people understand is that we have full service repair shops. And, and not only do we sell and, and rent instruments, but those repair shops are set up to make sure that your instrument plays uh, the best it possibly can. If you ever have a question, we want you to bring them in. We'd be glad to look at it. There's no charge to look at your instruments. But we also want you to know that there's some things that you can do that are simple, they're easy, and uh, you know you can do it yourself. It kind of makes you feel good about it when you do things yourself. Uh, a lot of things, if you're in a band program or an orchestra program, your teachers will show you what to do. But in case you, you're still kind of nervous, I'm just going to take a few minutes and, and show you a few things. This morning our video, we're talking about how to oil the slide on a trombone. There's a few things you need before you get started. You don't necessarily need the whole instrument. I've got just the slide to a trombone. Another thing you're going to need, and this is going to keep mom happy, you're going to need some paper towels because uh, a lot of times you're dealing with oil and if that gets on, on the surface and, and kind of makes a mess, then not so good. So what we want to do is go ahead and make a surface where if we drip some oil, we're going to be okay. And then the most important thing you're going to need is your oil, or let me talk about this for a second. There, there's a lot of different products that you can use to accomplish the job of lubricating the slide of your trombone. Uh, this is Intune Slide Oil. Uh, we sell this, it's great. It, it's got our name on it, so we really like it. Another one that's pretty popular is the Slide Mix. It's called Rapid Comfort. It's a single application bottle, and it'll do the same thing as the Slide Oil. And then there are some teachers that, that still use uh, like a cream or a, uh, a thick pastier substance that you put on the trombone and then you have to have a water bottle to reactivate it every so often. Whatever your teacher says is best, the application process is basically going to be the same. It's just a different product that everybody uses. This morning I'm going to use the Intune slide oil so let me show you how this works. Now as you carefully take this out of your case and I hope that you're using the slide lock. That's this little uh, spinning mechanism here. You need to make sure that you're using that every time you put your horn away if you take the horn out of the case, or if you take your slide out of the case and you don't have that, it might fall off. You might wind up dinning the slide or creating a, an out of alignment situation that no matter how much you oil it, it's still not gonna be free moving. So make sure you're using your slide lock. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the slide lock off. That allows me free access to the slide. It moves, now I'm gonna show you something, okay? On this slide, obviously these tubes are smaller than these tubes. These are the inner slides. If I take this inner slide almost all the way out, I mean, it's still holding on. Right here at the end, it expands a little bit. This piece is called the stocking. That's what we call that. And actually, if you didn't know this, the only piece or the only part of the slide that actually touches, that creates friction, is this expanded end, the stocking. The rest of this is just to make sure you have the extension for the length. So the stocking is the most important part to get lubricated on a trombone slide. And you know what? A lot of people say, how much should I use? Is this a, you know, is there an exact measurement? No, there's not. You just need to make sure, however much it is, I'm just putting a couple of drops on the top. I'm kind of let gravity do its work. I'll turn it over carefully. Do another couple of drops. And then gently let it slide in. Now I'm gonna do this slow. I'm gonna try and make coverage all the way up and down this outer slide. So those stockings are touching all the way up and down. Just give it a couple of, uh, just a minute to cover and, and go all the way across. And really, that's all there is, we're done. If you're using this Rapid Comfort, the Slider Mix Rapid Comfort, exact same procedure. If you're using one of the creams, the stocking that I showed you, you're gonna have to use your finger and you just spread it around the edge of that stocking, same process. Good to go. Make sure you put your slide lock back on, put it back in the case, and you are ready to go with an oiled slide. Hope that helps you. Again, there's several other videos on the website. You're welcome to check them out. But that is how you oil a trombone slide. <laughs>